Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and I am going to do one of my Yorkie story times today. So I just love like chatting with you guys and grooming my dogs and what I've noticed is that I wind up, Alfie's going to be the first up because he always, come here buddy, sorry I'm not holding him in a great way. Um, Alfie is going to be the first up because as soon as he sees me get out my grooming tools, he's always dying to get groomed. And while I'm doing this, I would not be surprised if my husband, Jeff, comes back through the door. So Jeff has been here, um, I think he got here on Saturday. And um, I'm so happy he's here because he's hardly been back from Aspen. So he owns a ski shop. So usually we see each other, I would say, every four weeks during the winter time. But this year has been tough because of um, COVID and also um, really sadly his mom was ill so he was with his mom as much as he could possibly be the most truly the most lovely lady I've ever met um, and so anyway he's here now and he met our new Siberian kitten Simba for the first time um, and Simba I think I think Simba likes Jeff maybe even more than he likes me, which is totally fine, but Simba's following Jeff everywhere, and like when he leaves the room, Simba's going with him, um, and things like that. So I was thinking, um, I love the fact that you guys have been commenting, and I love the fact that you guys have been asking me questions, and I was actually thinking that it would be really fun to do a Q and A, um, and I'll see what you guys think, because I could make it you know, either a weekly or a monthly thing, but I've noticed that there are a lot of questions that don't quite fit into, um, I don't think they quite fit into like needing to make an entire video out of them, but I thought that it might be enjoyable just to talk about some of the different questions. Um, one question that someone was asking me today, they're thinking about getting a Yorkie, and they were asking me, you know, they said, should I get a girl or a boy and they said that they were worried about the girl Yorkie um, having periods and it being messy and things like that so what I just wanted to say is you should be spaying your dog so you shouldn't actually be dealing with any of that stuff because that would only happen if you didn't spay your dog um, and so spaying and neutering your dog is super important um, and I am NOT trying to set a bad example by the fact that I have an unneutered Yorkshire Terrier male, I never ever would do that if it was just a dog that I had gotten as a puppy. Um, the reason that Alfie is not neutered is that I co-own him with a very prestigious Yorkshire Terrier breeder. And so the only way that I could have him was if I kept him, I know Alfie, I know how much you hate being brushed, we'll just make it a quick one. But um, the only way that I could actually have him as my dog was if I took him not neutered. But as a responsible dog owner, some of the things that I do because I have a male Yorkie is I never have him around, I know it's almost your turn, I never have him around um, dogs off leash. So I would never, never, ever let him off the leash. Um, he's not neutered and you can't be sure that your dog wouldn't run off, you know, wouldn't see, like if he were, exposed to a female dog in heat, absolutely his instincts could take over and I might never see him again. He might get hit by a car trying to get to her. So, I mean, he's a bigger responsibility, although I would never let my dogs off leash anyway. I mean, it's just, there's almost no reason to do it. And if you don't have time to, if you don't have time to walk your dog or walk your Yorkie on a leash, then you probably don't really have time to have a Yorkie. Um, I see people, I live downtown in Boston and I see people in the public garden with their dogs off the leash and it just takes a second for your dog to see something and to run off and get hit by a car or I actually saw two hawks in the park the other day and those heart, I can barely speak, sorry about that. The hawks could have swooped down and gotten a Yorkshire Terrier really, really easily. So it's really, really important um, to keep your dog on a leash. Um, so as usual, I'm digressing about the, the question, but the main thing that I would say is that, um, first of all, you need to do a lot of research before you consider getting a Yorkie and to even consider not 
spaying or neutering an animal, I just don't think it's a good idea. I think only absolute experts should be breeding their dogs. It's not something, you know, I've heard people say, oh, we just wanted to give her a chance to be a mom or something like that. No, because you're going to be breeding characteristics, you know, into this puppy that may not be desirable and you're not bettering the Yorkshire Terrier line. You are, your hands down going to breed it worse. I mean, all dogs are cute, but you really want people that know what they're doing so that the very best Yorkshire Terriers are bred. We're just gonna do a little mini grooming on this guy today. I know, you're all done. Um, they are usually going on a walk. Come on, Poppy, it's your turn. Usually they go on a walk um, right after I groom them, but today there's a big, there's a big, big snowstorm happening in Boston. And so there's a snow emergency. They're towing all the cars and um, it's really beautiful outside, like it's gorgeous. But my husband Jeff and I took the dogs out earlier today. That way we wouldn't have to take them out in the snowstorm because, you know, failure to plan is planning to fail. So we have their walk out of the way and we're actually, um, we're gonna put on our snow boots and we're gonna go for dinner at our favorite steakhouse, Abe and Louie's, which is pretty close by, um, and just, you know, put on our winter coats and our snow boots and kind of go have like a nice little romantic dinner. Um, and so the dogs and the cat will be here. So I'm thinking about some of the other questions. And one thing that I would absolutely say is if, you know, please feel free to ask me questions, but also definitely look through my videos because in most of my videos, what I'm doing is I'm actually, I'm sharing links in the videos. Um, and I have a lot of videos on different dog foods, um, on different dog carriers, you know, the combs that I use, all of those things. So if you really, if you watch my videos, you're going to find that so much of the information is already there. And I'm not saying, you know, don't ask me a question, but if it's in the video, I am going to direct you to one of the videos that's already made because, you know, one, when you watch my videos, it actually, it helps my YouTube because I am working towards helping Yorkshire Terrier owners have happier and healthier pets. And also I'm turning it into a business so that I can have, you know, a more, a, a life where I can be with my dogs more, a life where I can be with my husband more and travel a little bit more. So these are all really important things. And so when I direct you to my videos, you're actually helping me to reach my goals, which is totally amazing. Um, I wanted to thank you guys because I, have been working so hard to get to, there's a period where you can actually monetize your YouTube and you can start to stream. And you need to have 4,000 watch hours and um, 1,000 subscribers. And we actually, my husband and I celebrated the other night because I have hit, um, I think I'm, I'm at like 762 subscribers now. Um, so I'm three quarters of the way to 1,000 and my watch hours are, I think they're 3,100. And I remember when I first started doing videos on YouTube and I was only getting like a view or two a day, something like that. And now I'm up to 2,000 views a day. So I just really wanted to say thank you so much. Thank you for supporting me. Um, thanks for your encouragement and for stopping in. And you know, just, I love hearing about your dogs. I love hearing about different things like that. Um, so I really appreciate it and I appreciate you guys helping me to, to reach my goals. It feels like such an amazing accomplishment and um, you know my goal is like to be able to do this where I can work from anywhere. So I would love to actually be able to go to Aspen with my husband for the winter and work on my YouTube and also I have a bunch of other business projects. So for you guys that don't know, I, manuf I manufacture a product called The Little Black Towel. Um, I've sold over $200,000 of towels in the past two years. Um, they're probably coming to a big box store near you in the summertime. And then I have an online shop um, and I have a award-winning beauty salon on Newberry Street. So I have a lot of different projects going, but this is really one of my favorite projects because I love dogs so much and animals in general. So when I can help you guys to have healthier, happier animals, that makes me just really, really happy. 
Um, so anyway, please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And also make sure to, um, to hit that little bell so you're going to get all the notifications. So if I post a new video, you will know that I have a new video up. I think about 15% of my subscribers are, are actually subscribed to that aspect. And it just makes it so that they know you look so good. Look at you. Okay, you're free. Um, it's just a really good thing to do. Um, so another thing that I was going to say is if you feel like you need, you know, if you need to have a consultation with me, if you want to have a video chat with me, I do offer that service as well. Um, and I am going to start posting a link to it. Um, there are some people that have been finding my Instagram and usually they have really long questions, which I would love to talk about. Um, but because I have so many different projects and I'm trying to get videos that will help a lot of people at the same time, um, I can't necessarily take a super long time, you know, to answer a really long email. So if there is a really long email, I'm going to have a link up and anyone is welcome to book one of my um, my paid video call consultations. We can chat about your Yorkies. We can chat if you need to know about different projects or, or products rather. And if you need any help with any particular aspect, I would absolutely love to help you. It's one of my favorite things to talk about. Um, but I also just try to put a lot of the information for you right here so you can find it for free. So anyway, what I was hoping, Lola's such a good girl. What I was hoping is actually that you guys would share some questions today um, that you would like me to answer for a Q&A for next week. And I would actually come on and just answer those questions for you. Um, I just want to get you the best information possible. And I feel like when I'm just brushing my dogs, it's such a great time to talk. Um, it's really comfortable. I don't really think about the camera. And as a really busy lady, I get two things done at the same time, which is just everything for me right now because I am so busy. Um, so anyway, those are some of the things that are going on. And also, I just want to say that I totally appreciate everybody's comments, but once in a while, people are kind of swooping in and it's really once in a while, but there was someone that was swooping in with the wrong information. And I do sort of like, if it's really wrong, I sometimes delete it because I just don't want people doing the wrong thing for their dog. So um, I was talking about the best kind of Yorkshire Terrier food and they said that if you were switching your Yorkies food, you should do it all at once, that you should just give them chicken that would reset their stomach. And then, sorry, I'm looking for my other little comb, which I appear to have lost at some point. Um, but anyway, so they said that you should just switch their food all at once after they've had chicken. So that's actually not true. And Yorkies have a super, super sensitive digestive system. So if you were to do that, you would be causing so much GI upset. So the way that I do it, if I'm switching their food, I give them a very, very tiny amount of the new food. So let's say out of the portion of food that Lola might get, I would give her maybe two tablespoons of the new food. And then I would do that for, you know, a day. And maybe the next day I would give her three tablespoons of the new food. And I would be subtracting a little bit of her regular food that she had until eventually she was only on the new food and she was no longer getting the old food. This is really important because their little stomachs can really react poorly. If you try to give them a completely different food all at once, um, they can get sick. So just wanted to say that you do have to be careful if you're switching your dog's food. Even if, you're, even if you're giving them a food that maybe isn't the best quality and you know you want to give them something else that's different, just be really careful and do it slowly because you know transitioning over three or four days, it's, it's really not going to make a big difference to give them the food that you don't want to give them, you're such a sweet girl, for a few more days. So um, have the patience, do it slowly. Um, and you know I've had Yorkies for years and years and you just, I know she doesn't really want to be brushed like this. Okay, we'll just brush you a little bit today, Lola. Okay. Lola's not getting the full brushing right now. But so I have had Yorkies for so long and I just know that they're really, really sensitive and you cannot do it 
all at once. Um, I'm just trying to think if there were any other questions. I know someone had asked me about the, they said that they were gonna go on and look for the comb that I'm using. And again, just go ahead and look at my links because I do have links to the combs that I use and I have links to the shampoos that I use and everything like that. So I know a lot of people do not read the description, but if you read the description, you're gonna see that I've made it as easy as possible for you by putting in the links. Um, and I'm also an, either an affiliate or an ambassador for some brands. And so what that means is that if you buy something, I might get a percentage of each sale. So it's not costing you any more money, but it actually helps me to fund these videos and continue to do what I love, which is to bring you great information. So they just got a little mini brushing. I'm all, I'm all dressed and ready to go to dinner with my husband. I don't know where he is, but he should be back soon because I think we're leaving. Oh yeah, like any minute. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's always so fun to chat with you guys. I have to show you Simba, my kitty. He's getting Simba, Simba, come here. Oh my goodness, he gets bigger and bigger. Oops, every single day. Simba is look at, oh, he's looking at the comb that I just dropped. He is such a great cat. Um, I just, I just love him. He's so calm. This is the best cat I've ever met in my entire life. He's such a baby. We love you, Sims. You want to lay back down? Um, don't eat elastics. Did you just eat an elastic? I think you did. Okay. It was great to talk to you guys. I will talk to you soon. I apologize for the quick video, but I'm spending as much time with my husband as I possibly can because it is so nice to see him and the dogs are thrilled. So I will talk to you guys later.